And we are back. It's been a grand total of about 30 seconds since I stopped recording the previous video. But for you guys, it's going to be different videos. Um, so in the last video, we briefly spoke about these different interfaces. And then we left this thing, this dynamic thing. Um, because I'm not going to return something dynamically. I'm going to return something specific, right? I want to actually have a real something returned. Uh, from these functions. But what is that thing? Well, when I do this search movie, and let's think about what I mean. Um, if I look at this thing, when I search the movie, it's going to be, oh, this gives me some examples here. I'm going to search by title Star Wars and hit search. And it gives me the example response, false, error, no API key provided. Great. <laughs> so it seems to me that the example they have here doesn't work too well. Okay, fine. Let's close this. Because um, I actually do have the other ones open. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys this. Right. So this is the first one we're going to do by search. And we can search for a, a movie and it's going to return something exactly like this, right? It's going to return this list. We can see it's a list because of the zero, one, two, three, and so on. And this list, <coughs> each item has a title, a year, IMPD ID, type, and poster. So what would we call this? Right, clearly we can see that this data belongs together. It's not random. It's not just random strings. It's a group of data that clearly belong together. So this is what we're going to be returning. We're going to be returning some kind of list of custom data type. But what is this custom data type? Well, it's something which we have to create, which we haven't created yet. So let's go ahead and I don't know where I'm going to put this. I'm going to hit new file here and say, uh, I'll just say models for now. Models should really be entities, but I'm going to say models for now. And then I'm going to say uh, search results dot dot, right? So what that's going to do is create this models folder and a search result dot dot file. And again, we don't need the IMPM. Instead, I'm going to say class and give it a name search results. And you can call this anything you'd like. I'm really quite bad with names. So guys, if you can think of a better name, please use something better. I don't think search results is a good name. I just can't think of anything that's better than search results. So that's what I'm going to use, but it's not the best. Okay. And now I'm going to have this data here. So I'm going to have string title. Um, hmm. Look at this year. So this year, this is a string. We know it's a string because of the double quotes, right? We're looking at JSON over here. But is this really a string? Or should this be an int? Well, what if we were to say it's an int, and then we get something like this? 2008 minus 2020. Did you guys catch the way I read it? Minus? You might be thinking, clearly it's not minus. Well, if it's an int, it kind of would be, right? So. This isn't an int, actually. It's still another string. String, yeah. And the other thing we can do is say string, and this is imbdid, dbid, and string type. That was type, right? Yeah. And finally, string, and this, they call it poster. I'm going to call it poster URL because that's actually URL. Okay, and I'm going to generate a constructor. The reason I'm going to generate the constructor is because actually all of these should have been final, which I forgot to do. So I'm going to hit Control D to select all of these, and then I can just type final, and it's going to type final in front of every single one of these. Okay, so what have we just done? Right, what what is this thing, this custom kind of class that we created. Well, this can either be called an entity or a model. Um, this one's actually an entity. 
I'm wondering if I actually want to differentiate that much or just leave it like that. You know what, for now I'm just going to leave it as search results. I'm not going to overcomplicate it by talking about the difference between our season models. But um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it as search results. So now that we have this, our custom class, we can go back into our remote data interface. And this now is going to return a list of search results, right? And the same thing is going to be true for our local data store. It's going to return a list of search results, just like that. Nice, perfect. Okay. And that was the first one. And this get movie details, where we take a string ID, is going to end up returning something that looks like this. So this is much longer, but that's fine. So it's going to be another uh, custom class, which we're going to create. And that was in our models here. I'm going to make a new file called <sighs> movie result, movie detailed, uh, movie details, dot, dot. Again, guys, I'm really bad with names. Don't copy my names, please. If you can come up with something better, come up with something better. This is one shortcoming of mine, but it is what it is. Okay, so movie details. And we're just going to copy this data here. I'm going to make it a bit, bit bigger so you guys can see. We're going to have a string title, string year. And right now, I kind of wish I was using two different monitors, but I'm not string rated and I'm giving it the same name as here string uh, was that released yeah released string runtime should I have runtime with a lowercase or uppercase I feel like it should be like this but let's quickly check runtime yeah it's one word my bad and because there's one word, I should not capitalize that T. Then string genre, uh, string director. And actually, let me see if they tell me all of the data I'm going to get here instead. They do not. I was hoping they would have like a proper list of all of the um, you know, all the properties I'd get here, but it doesn't seem to have them. String, but that's fine. String director, um, string writer. Um, uh, this next one, it's a list. We can see if we have this kind of arrow next to it, it's a list. List, string actors. Uh, in fact, I was incorrect. incorrect. This is a single string right it should be a list but they have it as a single string i'm going to talk more about apis and how i know all of this when we actually make our um, uh, remote data source but for now let's just copy the information uh, the plot again is a string it's going to be a long string string language string country String awards, string poster URL, list. So ratings we can see as a list. And what's this going to be? It's going to be a source that has a source and a value, right? But these two things clearly, again, belong together. It's not a string source and a separate string value, these two are combined, the one data structure. So again, we're going to have to make a new file. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, movie rating dot dot the class movie rating. And it's just going to have our string source and string value, just like that. So then this ratings becomes list movie rating ratings like that then string meta score string 
IMDB rating, string IMDB votes, string IMDB ID, was that? Yeah. String type, string DVD. And you can decide if you need all of this information or not. You could very easily say that you don't need all of this. We're not going to use all of it, but I just want to copy all of it anyway. String websites and string response, just like that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to copy it. Okay, so what have we done here? Well, what we've ended up doing is creating a couple different uh, data structures, a couple different models to actually keep all of our data together the way we would expect it to be, right? So this is going to make working with this data much, much easier because now I'll get movie details. It's not going to return dynamic. It's not going to return a map. It's going to return very specifically a object of type movie details and the same for our local data interface right here. That's going to return an object of type movie details. Okay, gentlemen, so that's going to be it for right now. In this video, what we've done is we've gone ahead and created these custom models, uh, taking all the data from this API and making it look good, making it look nice for us to use in our own programs. But that's going to be it for this video. Join us next time when we're going to finally build out this GetX controller, this state, and make use of these different interfaces. But for now, myself, Ovidius, I'm out.